Hi friends, this is a TTK Bootstraps meter wizard. In this wizard, we can input the data or it can be used to show a uh, progress of a process so that it, how much the, it is consumed or where the process is. So we can also use it as an input. So you can take data to the to our other processes and this also by you can use this to uh, develop various applications. And before we move towards different app, uh, developing applications, we'll also learn what are the different options or the parameters we can set it, how a look and feel we can change. We'll learn all about this. We'll start from here. This is where we have imported our TTK bootstrap and then we have imported the constants because we'll be using all the colors and different uh, boot styles will be associated with the constant. That's why we are using it. And in the first part of this series, we have already discussed how to install it and all and slowly we'll move to different different widgets. Previously, we had discussed about uh, table view. Now we are discussing this meter. So uh, it is the blank template or a window where 420 by 420. This is the width and height we have defined here and my underscore w is the parent uh, window so let's just start with our meter i'm giving the name as m1 so this is ttk dot meter so this is part of the ttk now inside this i am giving my underscore w this is my parent window then something i will say about this what are the parameters i am starting with i'll say amount use amount used means that that is where the pointer will be the or the dial should end because that much process amount is used. initially it can be zero or anything so amount use let me just put it as 65 so comma one more i'll go i'll say meter size meter size imagine the meter is in a square box each side how much the width will be so this is a you can see at the top so 420 we have taken so we will place it as as a inside a 400 Think of as a ready, uh, sorry, as a peri, as a uh, radius. Radius will be 200, so diameter will be 400. So think is like that. So meter size is 200. We are given. Now, what should be the meter thickness? Meter thickness means this is the dial. What is the thickness of that one? So let me just give it 50. So meter thickness. Now one more thing is boot style. What are the what is the boot style? Because these boot styles are different in the part of the TTK bootstrap. There are predefined styles are there around eight are there. Here is the list is there. You can we can associate this particular meter to a one style and these are all can be configured. So in, in our applications, we'll see one based on different value, different range or the red zone, green zone, blue zone like that. We can set the boot style also. So that will give us a in an application where you can define it the, where the data is. So boot style I am giving success this is a green color you can give info or primary whatever you want you can give it now let's just uh, see by working up to this point now this is what now let me place it on a grid so m1 dot grid this is the only widget so I am giving row equal to one column equal to one so I can give 0 0 also slightly I'm giving pad X not flushing with the left edge and giving pad Y from the top edge also I'm maintaining 10 so that's all so this is the very basic one I just saved it I'm running it and see how this looks here it is so this is the widget you can see it uh, contains within a two, 400 uh, di diameter and uh, amount used is 65 that's why it is at the 65 I can drag it also but how can I it will not responding me because one parameter I have to set now other things you can see this thickness is this thickness I am giving 50 boot style is success you can keep on changing the boot style to info secondary primary and all the colors will change let's just change it to info info so here I am info and I'm running it you can see the change yeah see the change by using configure I can update some parameters whatever is already used or I can add some additional parameters also now let's just start like that so m1 configure so I am configuring what are the parameters I am configuring I am saying say amount used equal to 25 now you can see here amount used earlier it was 65 now i am changing the value to 25 plus one more thing is interactive interactive equal to let's say true 
it has to be true or false so by default it is false now i am saying it's true means i can i can by operating from mouse i can change the values so let me just save this and run this so here it is so value is 25 not 65 here you can see the code here now I can use I am using mouse to change these values so this can I can take it as an input or anything I can connect it to another process so I can change it because this interactive is true let's increase the width of this window so to 520 and place one button to the right and the reason is on that button will display the what are the amount used on that so for that I will say b1 uh, m1 okay b1 equal to ttk dot button now this is on my underscore w is my parent window now here I am saying text variable so text variable equal to m1 dot amount used var this one so this is a uh, this uh, this uh, variable will keep on changing based on the what is the meters current value every time i change it and that i am associated with the text variable option of the uh, button so now the button i'll just give little style to it boot style because we are using that boot style equal to let's say um, we'll give red so we'll write danger so this is the danger now let's place it on the on our grid so it will be right of it so column uh, row 1 column 2 will give because column 1 is the meter we have used b1 dot grid row equal to 1 now column equal to 2 so next to it and uh, let's just give some little pad x pad x equal to 5 so this will be side of the right side of the our meter so let me save this and running this here it is you can see here the button the button is there and it is now I am changing the value see the value is also changing you can see the whatever the value here that is keeps on changing let me reduce it also so this is the way I can take out the value and display it or I can use it in a, some other process we'll apply all the bootstraps uh, default styles or the available colors to it and see how this uh, looks so for that we'll increase the width of it because in a row we'll uh, use this one so 720 i am keeping and height that much is not required let me keep 100 only so here then in that case c equal to 0 what is c it is the column so first i'll start with 0 then i will increase the column to 1 2 3 4 like that so what happened 1 meter then next meter will be right of it like that it will come so for that next line what i am going to do is for uh, my style my style is the variable style in my underscore w dot style dot colors this is the list of available colors in the ttk bootstrap is uh, will get so each loop will get my style will take one value so for next we'll put it our uh, meter so here is our meter ttk meter same one my underscore w we are uh, giving then subtext slightly will change the uh, details here because we will understand because in the subtext we will write what color is used so that way we will get the particular name of the sub color so subtext equal to my style so it will pick up the string whatever the name is there then we will see you can even use font for that also subtext uh, font now font is a it's a uh, list actually I am using sorry list so times now size is 6 I am giving small because width is not much so and normal I can use italic bold or anything so I am using normal here so let me just delete all other parts up to this let me put a comma and come to next line so here uh, here I am now text font so whatever the center the text is written that font also I can control so for that I am writing uh, times now I'll say 6 small size I am using because my entire available size is because I have to accommodate around uh, 8 colors so then that's all then I will say meter size this is the one side of the square meter size equal to 80 i am taking not taking much in here so and the where the value i will keep it value means what is the uh, amount use amount use let me just keep it 65 and here is the most important what the boot style it will take boot 
style equal to my style because my style each loop it will take one one value so that is what i am going to use it so now i will take it out come to here now what i will say now i will place it on the grid place it grid means m1 or the this one grid now where the row row equal to one there is a constant all my eight will be ro in row one column equal to c and slightly i'm giving pad x pad x equal to five sorry okay five i'm giving now what i will do i will increment c equal to c plus one just think about here i am using the c every time i'm incrementing by one why i'm doing this rest of the things not required let me remove all this okay see up to this this is inside the for loop i am creating one and every time i um, my column value is increasing by one so right first one will be used one style will be taken my style one value will be taken next one for that column will increment means the right of the first one second one will be then right of the second one third one will be placed so column will be increased by one 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 and each time the style will be boot style this one will keep on changing and taking the style as different different as per the list okay here it is so all those and subtext font text font all these parameters we have used now let me just save it and run it once you can see see here all these one two three four five six seven eight eight different styles are available and have my uh, all my meet eight meters have different different styles and here it is a small font primary secondary success info warning uh, this is danger then light then dark these are the styles these names i have written and this is where it is available because this fonts i am controlling by using this uh, here the parameters let's understand what are the subtext text right text left all this concept so for that we'll remove this loop is not required so i am just removing this loops here i am keeping m1 then let me remove everything i'll put it again because boot style i am not going to use it m1 column equal to one so everything is in directly so this line is not required fine so this width i will increase to let's say 500 i am keeping uh width height sorry 500 height i have given now let's say amount used sorry amount to amount total also i can define because by default it is 100 if i want it should go start up to 500 or anything i can give that so amount used amount used equal to let's put it as 65 now one more parameter i'll say meter thickness meter thickness equal to let's give 30 or whatever you want you can give it now boot style now this time i am giving a fixed boot style boot style lets me give it as a success it's a green color uh, like that okay you can change it whatever you want now interactive should it be interactive because by mouse i should able to control it true yes let it be interactive now here what you will say is now let's say text font text font equal to now here i am giving a list i am saying times this is the font style then 26 a higher size then i am saying bold this is the center text font fine now text right what should be at the text right means say you, you can understand i am giving a percentage here because i want to show some process how much percentage is cleared at all so i am giving a percentage symbol there now let me put a comma here now text right now text left i can write some text uh, left i will say that one is what it is speed let's give speed as text uh, left then i am saying subtext means below that not left or right it is below so i am saying subtext equal to let's say or whatever you want to write this is the string only it's nothing to do now subtext what font it will go subtext font so i will say subtext font equal to i can control that so i'll say again same format times now i am saying size is 10 and it's normal I can bold, italic, whatever I want, I can do. Now, subtext, 
uh, style. I can define a bootstrap style. All those out of those eight, one uh, style I can say this is the subtext style. So I'll say subtext style is secondary. You want to change it to make it to info or primary or light, dark, whatever you want. Now this, let's just all these things. Let's just see what it is, how this looks. Let me run this and see uh, for comma. I think I missed comma somewhere. Oh, here I missed a comma. It prompted me find the last here also. I missed a comma. OK, let's save this and hopefully everything everywhere comma I have mentioned. Yeah. Here it is. You can see the speed or you just write this. This see the see the speed here 65 percent. This percent is this is what I have written text right or shall I make it a little bigger. So I can give this one a size parameter to this. So let me just uh, what I will say is I will say amount use subtext subtext now meter size. I have to use it. Let me just close this. I can go for a bit bigger, let's see, meter size, meter size is let me give 200. So top I comma I have given here also let me put it. So let's just see this, yeah. So I can further increase it also, let me give it for 500, meter size is 500. So you can see here, yeah, okay, this is too big. So let me put it at 400 and here the font color font size I am subtext font I am increasing to let me say 20. So you just see the speed is 65. Now if I am increasing this you can see speed uh, this is percentage because the string here I have written a speed performance I have written as subtext so that is here slightly that font also I have control subtext style also I have control meter size then this is the subtext font and I made it interactive so it is I can control it so this is how I can keep on uh, changing these various parameters this text I can control it now using this we can develop various applications will for a better understanding we'll move towards application where two uh, interactive uh, uh, meters will play so by using any one the other one value also will able to control it or another thing say once this color it increases certain value the, this color will change say now it will be green it will turn to blue so i am going to yellow zone if it is beyond 50 it should be yellow or it is beyond 75 it should be red zone like that this color also should change that also we can do it all these applications next we'll see i'll just request you please practice this one so you can have a better idea when you move to developing the applications and one more request please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently adding also we'll complete this TTK bootstrap also in all the widgets and I will if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching